My name is Chloe and I joined Kubrick in April 2021. I am a data engineer currently on client site. So ADHD falls under this umbrella term of neurodiversity and essentially means that my brain functions a bit differently. I have different behavioural traits than say a neurotypical person. Things that I struggle with day to day I think due to my ADHD are things like regulating focus, my executive function, um, regulating things like mood and sleep. Those things can be a massive challenge to me because they involve my brain. The best way I can describe it is my brain is like a computer and if you imagine a computer with hundreds of tabs open and they're all running at the same time, all demanding attention, it's just a lot of noise and I feel like my brain is go, go, go all the time and that makes it difficult you know to sleep or like to switch my focus onto an activity because there is so much background noise going on and so much running i find myself being more inattentive and having difficulties focusing tasks can be like really challenging but also really engaging it can be a really good opportunity for someone with ADHD to step up and hyper focus and really problem solve and just be in their element because it's like their brain switches something on and suddenly that's the only thing they can see. It's like tunnel vision. Then it can also be a bit detrimental because then things happen like you have this hyper focus and then it's like time flies by because you, know, you haven't seen anything else, you've done anything else. You, know, you neglect things like staying hydrated because you're so focused on the activity at hand. Obviously, you know, great for productivity, not necessarily great on the actual person. If you can regulate these things quite well, it can be really beneficial at work. There's this like rhetoric of, you know, these kind of things being a superpower. And then, you know, I don't discourage anybody from seeing it like that. Again, there's a lot of things that we can find that are benefits to it. At the end of the day, this is something that makes it hard for me to function the way society's built. Society's built for neurotypical people. And this is something that makes it harder for me to live in that society that's built for neurotypical people, which it currently is. Prior to Kubrick, um, I really struggle with things like interviews and like processing a lot of verbal instructions. I think it's it's harder for somebody who is neurodivergent to perform in those situations. You want black and white answers. Someone who's neurodivergent, I think your brain is sometimes is craving a bit more structure than that. I love that about data. I love that there's more black and white answers. You know, the data says X, it is X. You know, unlike in my law degree, you know, a whole host of grey, essentially. In terms of struggling, what's really made it work is having really, really supportive teams. I'm really lucky and grateful that I've worked with some really great people since starting my career in data who have been really understanding um, of like the extra support and clarification I need to perform the same job or to do the same job and perform well. Something that made a really big difference was when I was having my client placement interview with my now line manager, directly asked me what can he and the team do to support me and help me thrive and promote my success in the company. And I think that kind of attitude just was incredible. Kubrick have been great throughout training. All the trainers have been really open to having a conversation with me about you know, why I'm asking more questions than maybe other people in my cohort and like taking a bit of extra time to have like one-to-ones with me during like the exercises when I'm you know, struggling a little bit more and you know, offering a bit more clarification, you know, allow me to come to revision sessions to like kind of boost my knowledge where I felt like I've needed it. And everyone's been greatly supportive of that. So not only my team, but the trainers in particular, everyone who I've spoken to in the people team at Kubrick have been been very supportive and allowed me to talk openly about it and like thinking about all the future people who are neurodivergent go through this process and feeling it's a much more safe and welcoming environment that is neuroinclusive that they're able to thrive in whatever situation I think it's important that that work is being done I can really see Kubrick putting that effort in I'm not sure if you know, other industries are making as much headway with that so in terms of steps that the industry can take, I think I can only speak for myself and I experience my neurodivergence and my ADHD you know, very differently from the next person and there's no clear cut answer for any of this. What's important in creating a neuroinclusive workplace are providing flexibility for the whole team, for everyone in the team and you know, promoting direct and clear communication across everyone, for everyone. This isn't just specific for people who are neurodivergent. I think any, everyone would benefit this and this is important for those people who don't know they're neurodivergent, wouldn't think to ask for extra support, but need to feel supported regardless of having this, this neurodivergent label. So Kubrick have made a very safe space to speak about these things. And I think individuals coming forward and doing the same makes a lot of difference. It's really important to take these steps um, in opening the conversation to break down that stigma and allowing everyone to feel like they belong and they have a right to be you know, where they are.